The third line of defense consists of mechanisms that target specific antigens. This is also known as adaptive immunity. The immune system distinguishes two groups of foreign substances. One group consists of antigens that are freely circulating in the body. The humoral response involves B cells that recognize pathogens or antigens circulating in the lymph or blood. This means that antigen hasn't infected a cell yet. There are two phases in the humoral immune response. The first phase is the activation phase. A macrophage or any phagocytic cell encounters a pathogen. The macrophage engulfs the pathogen. The pathogen is fragmented into antigen fragments. The fragments are presented by the MHC2 protein on the surface of the macrophage. This is called antigen presentation. The macrophage, in this case, is the antigen-presenting cell. The antigen is presented to many helper T cells. Only the helper T cell that matches the specificity of the antigen presented will bind to the MHC2 protein on the antigen presenting cell. This is called clonal selection. The accessory protein CD4 binds the helper T cell to the MHC2 protein. The antigen presenting cell releases interleukin-1 which stimulates the helper T cell to release interleukin-2, which activates the helper T, causing the helper T cell to proliferate. The second phase of the humoral immune response is the effector phase. The specific B cell encounters the same pathogen. It engulfs it and fragments it into antigen fragments. It presents the antigen fragment on the surface of the cell using the MHC2 protein. The helper T cell binds to the B cell, releasing interleukin-2. The interleukin-2 stimulates the B cell to proliferate and differentiate into plasma B cells and memory B cells. Plasma B cells are short-lived and they release antibodies that go after the antigens. There are several ways in which antibodies can inactivate antigens. One way is neutralization, in which the antibodies block the antigen's ability to bind to a host cell by binding to the antigens. Another way antibodies can inactivate antigens is through the activation of the complement system. Antibodies bind to the antigen on a foreign cell and complement proteins cause a cascade of events that end in the poking of holes in the cell membrane, causing the cell to lice and die. Memory B cells remember the antigen so that if it invades again, the body will have a faster and more abundant antibody production. Memory B cells play a huge role in the secondary immune response.